You never know who you're going to run into at Mohegan Sun Wine Fest, I suppose. But moving on now, one of the hottest ingredients this year, believe it or not, is cauliflower. Food trend experts are calling it the new kale. Now, Rachel Ray says the super veggie is like a blank canvas that can take on any flavor. Alisa Gio, a home cook who writes the local food rocks blog, is here to share a recipe. And we have Katie in the kitchen with us as well. You just redid your kitchen. You like to cook, right? I do. I love to cook, so I'm excited about this new recipe. Very good. So awesome. we're going to uh, learn a little bit about cauliflower today, the new it veggie. The, the new it veggie. You know, a lot of people are trying to lower the amount of carbs they eat, sure. not as much flour, not as many grains. And cauliflower is actually a really great stand-in. So that was sort of where the inspiration came for this recipe. So I've heard people can actually make like a mashed potato almost out of cauliflower, you right? Really they could can. trick people. <laughs> it's true. Well, you know, the taste is similar. I'm not going to say it's exact, but it's right. definitely, it's a great alternative. Great. So tabbouleh is on the menu today. Yes. Cauliflower tabbouleh. Yes, exactly. So instead of bulgur wheat, we've made a cauliflower rice. Okay. And all you have to do for that is break off your florets, pop it into a food processor, and pulse it until it's as finely ground as you want. You really, you know, for the tabbouleh especially, pretty fine, you know, even more fine than a rice grain. Got it. Um, so you start with a couple of cups of that. That's probably about one small head of cauliflower. And then it's all your classic ingredients. So I have some fresh parsley and mint. It's about two cups of parsley. Okay. But you know, go with what your taste like. If you want something more of, you know, add it in. Uh, classic cucumber. It's about half a cucumber. All right. A little bit of diced white onion. Just about like a quarter of an onion or so. Half a cup of some diced tomatoes. And then you've got some lemon juice. This is about one entire lemon. Okay. And about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And you're going to mix that all together, right? Exactly. A just, salt and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper. And that's really all there is to it. Now, Katie, when you're in season, we know it's the off season right now. Do you have to watch your diet? Absolutely. Like, this is definitely something that's going to be on my radar. Like, <laughs> I'm, I definitely am into health and nutrition. And uh, when I'm not playing and not using so many calories, I definitely have to watch my carbs. I can't just eat anything I want. As I've learned, as you get older, your metabolism changes, doesn't it? changes a little bit. And things start going different places. So this it's definitely true. is something that definitely appeals to me and uh, look forward to and trying. And pretty easy to put together, Alicia, right? Super easy. I mean, you really, you know, mix. That's all. That's and so what little. are you serving it on? It's so pretty. I took some Belgian endive. So it's, it's sort of like a, a slightly bitter green, mm -hmm. but it looks so fancy. So I break off the individual leaves and I just put like a, you know, tablespoonful of the tabbouleh in there. So you don't have to have bread. So oh, again, watching carbs. And you know, what goes better with tabbouleh than hummus? And I've made hummus here and I've got, got the recipe up on my blog. That's made with cauliflower instead of chickpeas. Wow. So once again, we're watching the carb intake. Can I try one? Does it taste pretty similar? Absolutely. It's pretty similar. It's mm -hmm. not exact, but it definitely is, is similar. You roast the cauliflower first. That's the key. And what else can we find on your blog? I've got a few restaurant reviews coming up. I have an interview with a local chef, and I've got a bunch of great recipes in the in the queue to come out. So This definitely tastes like hummus, a little, with a little twist. Right, it's exactly. Great. Um, so typically, um, tabbouleh is Lebanese food, and Katie, you were saying yes. you spent some time overseas in Lebanon. Not in Lebanon, exactly, but overseas. I've lived mm -hmm. over there for about 11 years, and uh, just different countries, I would definitely find myself kind of gravitating when there was a Lebanese restaurant to go, and we were talking about some of the, the um, authentic dishes that I like to have when I'm there, and uh, they're big into hummus and pita and mm -hmm. uh, the salad that I like that we were talking about. Absolutely. Um, so definitely Lebanese, which is kind of... Strange coming from a Midwestern girl, <laughs> um, but Lebanese is definitely um, one of my favorite kitchens and cuisines right. when it's available. And it's, not, yeah, I mean, and tasty to boot, right? Right, exactly. It's tasty, and you know, it's really pretty healthy too. Very nice. And uh, what's next for you and uh, the blog? What's next for me? What, I've, <laughs> I've got. Uh, a, I've actually teamed up with a oh. local trainer, and we've been doing some cooking videos together. Fun. So we'll there's see sort of, them on your website. Yes, eventually. they're all up on my website. I've got a few there already. At localfoodrocks.com, and just click on the video tab. And um, you know, we've got another one coming out this week. Very good. And Katie, when does the season start again? Our season starts in May. Um, so okay. we're gearing up. Uh, a lot of a lot of the girls, like I said, are overseas playing for their overseas teams mm -hmm. and commitments. And uh, I'm here stateside just getting ready and training and uh, we kick off in, in mid-May. Very nice. All right.